Here are some diagrams of a silicon control rectifier. On the left is the schematic drawing, and on the right is pretty much the physical layout of an SCR. You can see that the leads have been labeled. You can see where the gate, cathode, and anode are. This is a circuit I came up with using a 12-volt AC supply from a transformer. And we have a 100-ohm resistor going into a diode. And right now the gate is open between the diode and the SCR. And the SCR, you can see, is connected to ground and one side of the light bulb and the other side of the bulb to one side of the 12 volt AC. Now when the AC is in this configuration, when we have positive and negative in this configuration from the AC supply, and the gate is connected to the diode, this will fire the SCR. But if the AC is in this configuration, negative on the top and positive on the ground, even with the gate connected to the diode, the bulb will remain dark. But of course not for long because this is 60 cycles. So to get the other half of that circuit, I added a little more to this diagram. Another 100 ohm resistor, another diode, and another SCR. But notice the configuration. It is in the circuit in the opposite direction of the SCR on the left. In this configuration, having the positive on the ground and having the diode connected to the gate, the second or the rightmost SCR will fire lighting the bulb. And here's a video demonstrating that. I'm going to connect the top lead, a diode to the gate of the left SCR and the bulb lights. Uh, disconnect that and connect the bottom lead, a diode to the gate of the right SCR and the bulb lights again. I'm also now going to connect the top lead and you can see the bulb got much brighter. The camera is turning down the light here but the bulb with both leads connected is about twice as bright. We saw in the video that when I connected the top lead gate to the diode, the bulb lit, and when I took it off, the bulb went out, and when I connected the bottom lead, the bulb lit again. I also left that lead connected and went back and connected the top lead, and the bulb was even brighter. So we're going to take a look at that video again, but also this time with an oscilloscope so we can see what is taking place. Now with this top lead connected, we can see that we've got positive pulses on the oscilloscope. 
with the bottom lead connected, we've got the negative half of the sine wave. Now when I connect both, we've got the total sine wave, and that's why the bulb is about twice as bright. Thanks for watching.